Hi there, today we are doing something I have always wanted to do, and that is Ellie's painting from up. Right here is where the Paradise Falls painting is going to go. I'm not told Tom this. <laughs> it's alright. We've, um, I'm gonna go grab a colored pencil real quick. Oh. I've made my outfit inspired by Ellie. I might regret this because it's a lot of white and I'm about to go paint. <laughs> I've gotta start. Here is what my kitchen currently looks like and there's the chosen wall. First, I roughly marked up the design, getting all the basic shapes and structure. Then using a light blue paint, I did a base coat for the background and began doing the base coat paint for the Paradise Falls cliff. And I'm just using acrylic paint. Ellie's design is really fun and vibrant. I did decide to change it up a little bit though, mainly the shades of the colors. I kept them in the same range, but mixed in lighter shades of purples, blues, and greens so that they'd fit a little bit better into my space, just to fade it into the wall a little bit more. Ellie's painting was the centerpiece for her home, and the painting was amongst a lot of stuff. The design needed to have richer tones to really make it stand out. Whereas for me, I don't want it to stand out as much in the room, which is why I'm integrating some more spa type tones, and I also chose not to include all of her fun dash marks and other touches that are notable. Ellie for much of the same reason it really worked in her space to make the painting come out more whereas for me I feel like it wouldn't be the same changing it up a bit also helps make it stay her painting in a way for this reason I also decided to make the up house based on the real one rather than Ellie's painted one mainly because it gave me a chance to add some more details to it but also for our visitors that are more casual Disney Pixar fans they'll be able to recognize it a little bit easier again I chose to fade the colors of the house and make them a bit more pastel to make it a softer addition to the kitchen. Once that was all done, I added a few more small details to the waterfall, and I made a few more things. At the end of Up, you might not remember it, but Kevin has little ones, and I loved them, so I really wanted to do a watercolor piece based around them. I framed it, and I loved how it turned out. Then on Dorky Ever After, we made Wilderness Explorer badges, and I finally get to display them as well as a card for my parents, and the grape soda bottle caps I made for our wedding guests. And here's the finished up area. I added a few more things so far to the room. This is going to be a display of premiere tickets from Pixar events we've gone to. I'm missing a few that I do have, but I, I've misplaced them, so I will find them there somewhere. This is a backdrop that I ordered ages ago. I made a Pixar lamp decoration. Finally get to have a new home for my 3D printed Piper from Pixar Studio. And I got to put out my Mike and Zelly oven mitts from Tokyo Disneyland. And I'm very excited to keep adding more Pixar elements to the kitchen and just make it a really fun space. I do have my golden pen giveaway, so if you'd like a chance to win a golden pen, please leave a nice comment down below. Also, let me know some more ideas for the Pixar kitchen, because I'm not done yet. I was about to say, it's suddenly Pixar. It's not. <laughs> it's in your face. Huh. Yeah, but I will see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye! Spice, spice, spice! It's really good, but I don't want to lose you like the lady now. <laughs>